Well, many in law enforcement and medicine cheered when the governor finally agreed to the prescription drug database. But now that the launch is almost here, pharmacists and doctors are struggling with the software. As CNN Local News 6 reporter Jim Spiewak joins me now with more. Well, Mia, whether they're ready or not, pharmacists have just one week before having to report what they prescribe to the drug database system. In one week, pharmacists in the state of Florida will begin reporting information about the controlled substances they dispense to the much anticipated state drug database system. But with the increased software systems needed for reporting, pharmacists are concerned about being fully prepared in time to comply with all the requirements of the law. I think first of all we have to work it out between the pharmacies um, and the dis, you know, dispensing offices wherever they are or whoever they are in the state. Much of the groundwork at major corporations like CVS and Walgreens is conducted by large IT departments. Smaller pharmacies hire outside software companies for help in setting up, but in essence they become their own IT department. We have to correct our errors and all that becomes, those are the fine tuning. So it's going to take a little time. Many pharmacies were not able to register for the drug database system until August 1st, giving them only 30 days to prepare. You just register, you get your number and your password, and then, then we'll go from there. And then you, you do your reporting starting September 1st. Um, that gives us a month to work things out, and October 1st it's mandatory. Doctors who overprescribe painkillers will face a minimum fine of $10,000 and six month suspensions. Now, data released last week showed a 9% increase in prescription drug deaths from 2009 to 2010. Oh, Jim, do pharmacists have any other worries with this new database? I did speak with one pharmacist today who has a, a big worry that because it's a little more stringent with these new guidelines to actually get a prescription, that there's going to be an increase in thefts, uh, whether it's his pharma pharmacy or another pharmacy. And his biggest concern was not when it's during non-business hours, but during business hours, mm -hmm. people coming in. When people are at risk. Yes. Right. All right, Jim, thank you. Mm -hmm.